Namaste guys, my name is Taksha Rajput and in this video I'm gonna show you all the awesome keyboard shortcuts for the file explorer that you have. The shortcuts are universal so they all will work regardless of different explorers. So whether it is the mighty Gnome's Nautilus, Nemo or Tunar on your Mint. The point is they all will work on all file explorers used by different distros. So let's get started. The first one is F9. F9 is used to toggle the side panel. So if you need some space, you can toggle it. The next is Ctrl H. It is used to show the hidden files and folders. That is start with the dot are typically known as Linux hidden files and folders. The next is Ctrl R. Ctrl R is used to refresh the explorer. The next on the list is Alt arrow left to go back and uh, arrow right to go forward. So for example, if you are in a directory and if you want to navigate to the back, you can do this. And if you want to navigate to the forward, you can do this. The next is Alt Home is used to quickly navigate to the home folder. The next in the list is Ctrl plus and minus and these used to zoom in and zoom out. And if you want to reset, you can use Ctrl zero. The next in the list is Ctrl L. Ctrl L is used to focus the location bar. Here you can type in the path where you want to go and hit enter to navigate. So these all were related to the navigation. Let's talk about the file and folder manipulation. So we often need to create a new folder. So to create it, use Ctrl Shift N, type in the name and hit enter. The next is Alt Enter. So select any file or folder, use Alt Enter to see its properties. Next is F2. F2 is used to rename any file or folder. Next in the list is Ctrl S and this stands for select item by template. So for example, if you want to select all the SS file in this particular directory, you can do this using Control S. The next in the list is Control Shift Arrow Left and Arrow Right. So if you are in a tree view, you can use this shortcut to expand and collapse the folders in the tree view. The next is Control M and this is used to make a link. So for some reason, if you want to have one file at two places and you don't want to compromise with this size, you can create the link to the original file and create a shortcut and that shortcut can be placed anywhere in the last, there are the typical shortcuts like Ctrl C to copy, X to cut, V to paste and delete to delete the file or folder and Ctrl A to select all. So that's all in this video and if you like the information then hit the thumbs up, share this video on the social with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care and enjoy Linux.